Hey, happy, 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 beautiful, amazing day. Dr. Bob Rakowski here with a little mini course on fat. I've read many articles over the years entitled The Big Fat Lie or A Big Fat Lie. And for whatever reason, fat was really vilified throughout the years, but fat is absolutely essential. So let's share some facts. First of all, uh, my background, I've been in clinical practice 30 years. I've worked with all ends of the spectrum, world champion athletes from every major sport and other people that were sent home to die. Thankfully, many of those are still alive today. I've also taught doctors over 10,000 hours of seminars all over the world. So one of my students reached out to me and said, you know what, Bob, now they're saying that omega-3s cause irregular heartbeats. He might've said, what the heck, or something different. But at any rate, that just doesn't make any sense. So what I've taught for years is that omega-3s prevent heart attack, stroke, and cancer by 13 different mechanisms. And those are your references. You can look them up. Uh, and there's literally thousands, thousands of PubMed studies, peer-reviewed medical studies on the health benefits of omega-3s. And they're even shown to be better at preventing cardiac problems than those much touted statins. Uh, interestingly enough, as time goes on, we're starting to see a much, much, much bigger downside to statins and a much bigger upside to good nutrition, good health, and omega-3s. Ben Franklin, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure, uh, and the omega-6, omega-3 ratio. So again, look up the PubMed study. When you have a four to one ratio of omega-6 to omega-3, that's a really good cardiovascular benefit. When you have a two to one, that's a benefit for cancer. Now, let's just make it practical. An ounce of prevention, yeah, an ounce of fish oils over the course of a week, 4.1 grams per day of high quality omega-3s, uh, and you're well on your way to creating great health. So, you know, first thing I did was look up fish oil and arrhythmia, and very clear that, notice what it says, numerous epidemiologic studies, case control studies, randomized trials, have demonstrated the ability of fish oil to prevent and reduce major cardiovascular events, including sudden cardiac death, and it can prevent arrhythmia of the atrium and or the ventricle. So very powerful there. But what's the challenge? Well, we have dirty oceans. We have a dirty planet. We have dirty people that throw their dirty garbage in too many places. And together, we need to fix that. But fish oils, uh, need to be purified, especially if you're getting them from cold water deep fish. Otherwise, they might have heavy metals, PCBs, dioxins, uh, and these are definitely not good for human health. A friend of mine said years ago, you can't be a clean fish in a dirty bowl, uh, and I know that to be true. So interesting that this killer whale was found dead, uh, and then so many pollutants in the blubber caused infertility, uh, and they're thinking that, my gosh, we might be extincting these amazing animals by creating toxic infertility. Think about that in humans. We are definitely creating toxic infertility. Little nutrition lesson, you know, we have the fabulous 50, the vitamins, minerals, amino acids, proteins, carbohydrates, fat, fiber, and water. We call those the fabulous 50. But most of us eat macros, proteins, carbohydrates, and fats. Uh, and protein comes from the Greek word, which means of primary importance. And we absolutely need our proteins. We can't live without it. And what I tell people is that proteins are made of amino acids. And there's two categories of amino acids, glucogenic amino acids. That means you can make sugar from protein and ketogenic amino acids. That means you can make fat from protein but you cannot make omega-3 or omega-6. So those are called the essential fats. Dr. Gundry, fascinating guy. He was a cardiologist. Uh, and by the way, he would resuscitate dead hearts by infusing them directly with nutrients. And then one day he had an epiphany. He says, you know what? I've been resuscitating these hearts with nutrients. I never thought to swallow them, but a powerful statement. He says, humans do not need carbohydrate. Just ask an Eskimo. Good point, Dr. Steve. So when we start talking about the essential fatty acids, a eh, reasonable picture of good choices. Uh, and we need them. We need the omega-6. We need the omega-3. So Archives of Internal Medicine published this article 
1989. It was called the Deadly Quartet. And they said if you were obese, had high blood pressure, high blood sugar, and high blood fat, then you were going to die early. And you know what? They're kind of right. But what they're describing is effects rather than cause. And what they also said within that article is that deadly quartet is strongly associated with too much processed foods. And so the standard American diet, most of it is processed and for some people, nearly all of it. And that's a formula for disaster. So I created my own deadly quartet, stress toxins, malnutrition, physical inactivity. We're gonna address malnutrition as it relates to omega-3 but understand good omega-3 status will buffer your stress. Good omega-3 status will actually help the body more efficient, less inflamed, help the body clear toxins. And you might even feel like moving more. Global Nutrition Report 2020, malnutrition is the top cause of death on the planet. Every single country is affected. And I'm gonna play some of this video because it's really good. All of human history into one year, we've only been farming and eating grain since about yesterday which is when we became shorter and fatter. We only started consuming processed vegetable oils about 10 minutes ago, which is when heart disease became our number one killer. So after examining all this human history, the experts came to the obvious conclusion. We need to eat a lot more of these. And so they convinced us that human health depends on foods we didn't eat for more than 99% of our entire existence. How Okay, so let's stop there for commentary real quick. So how in the world did they make such absolutely pathetic recommendations that made no sense in terms of the history of humankind? And so, you know, I was lecturing in Orlando, Florida sometime in the early 2000s. Barry Sears was the keynote speaker at the conference and he wrote his book called The Zone and he said macros are really important. Quick summary, he said people should have 40% carbs, 30% protein, 30% fat. And then he put up a copy of the government food guidelines, the USDA food pyramid. And here's what he said. If ever there was a terrorist-like plot to destroy the health of the world, this would be it. And you know what? I believe he was absolutely right. So how did this happen? Well, this was published in the uh, JAMA Internal Medicine a Journal of the American Medical Association, a certain branch of that. So it says back in the 1960s, a sugar industry executive wrote fat checks to a group of Harvard researchers so that they downplay the links between sugar and heart disease. Uh, and that's where so much of it actually took off. And Bill Maher, you know, I don't agree with a lot of things he says, but he can be funny on occasion. And here's what he said, good health makes a lot of sense. It just does not make a lot of dollars. Uh, and so lessons of history, I'll share some of those as well. But this is a powerful quote that I shared a lot this last year. Crime, money, power, drugs are all linked. Now, I want you to think about that and, and do your own research on that. Is that true? And if it's true, well, what, what can we do? Well, maybe we can seek truth and share truth. So Will Durant, Lessons of History, one of my favorite books, history reports that men who can manage men will manage men who can only manage things, but men who manage money manage everything. Another quote from Will, you can fool all the people all the time. Uh, sorry, you can't fool all the people all the time, but you can fool enough of them to rule a large country uh, or maybe even poor parts of our wonderful world. So back to our processed food. The more processed that a food is, the lower its satiety potential and nutrient density and higher glycemic index. So what does that mean? That means when you keep eating, you're not satisfied. You want more and more of it. Kelly Brownell, Yale University said, food in this country is engineered to be addictive and it makes us fat and sick. Uh, and that's probably a, a pretty sick way to live. This interesting cover picture here, fat, sick and nearly dead, and I use that and then I show a 2021 reference, the current omega-6 to omega-3 ratio in the standard American diet, modern American diet is 20 to 50 to one. Remember it takes four to one to prevent heart disease, two to one to prevent cancer. This interesting uh, blog talked about the link between cancer and heart disease. Well, is it one and the same? 
Well, it's inflammation. And by the way, when you don't have a good omega-6 to omega-3 ratio, you are going to be inflamed. So some of the uh, bad things that happen with the standard American diet, chronic inflammation is the absolute top. Uh, and then bottom listed is weight gain and obesity. These things go together. So I like this Penn Medicine study, basically the heart benefits of omega-3s reduce your risk of developing arrhythmia. That certainly goes against that original question about arrhythmia. Fascinating history lesson here. Paul Clayton, health historian, published this in the International Journal of Environmental Research and Public Health. He said, if you got to be five years old in Victorian England, your life expectancy was good or better than today. You would live to be about 80 years old. And by the way, the way these 80 years went was you would basically still be working in the field at 79.9. Uh, and that final month of your life, you know, you, you sleep in a little more day one, a little more day two, a little more day three. And then on the final day, you sleep in forever. But here's what Dr. Clayton pointed out. He says they consume levels of micro and phytonutrients at approximately 10 times the levels consumed today. So fascinating there. And they did a lot of autopsies. This was published Journal Royal Society of Medicine. 2% of 80 year olds died of cancer, 6% of cardiovascular disease. So you look at today, you know, nearly seven out of 10 deaths. So what have we done by creating a stressed, toxic, malnourished, physically inactive world, we've created heart disease and cancer. U.S. Census, let's go back to 1850. Cancer was fatal in 1,704 uh, people, which was 61 of 10,000 deaths. That's less than 1% or 0.61% of deaths. I want you to think about that. Look at where it is now. Mark Twain, there's three kinds of lies, lies, damn lies, and statistics. Uh, and we seem to be creating statistics that perpetuate these horrific lies. Food guidelines, eat real food, eat clean food, not too much, not too often, every color, every day in a way that honors your physiology, your genetics, and your health goals. Mostly plants, I think that's backed by all of human history. I also have a YouTube video on all of those things. And when Barry Sears created his uh, food pyramid or, or talked about the errors of the, of the USDA food pyramid, I said, you know what? I'm gonna create my own nature's foods, superfoods, functional foods, a multivitamin, multimineral, omega-3s with resolvents, probiotics, D3, K2. It doesn't matter to me if you're a world-class athlete or fighting for your life, cover every single layer of this, of this nutrition hierarchy uh, and you're gonna be fine. I promote a guilt-free and turbocharged coffee and tea line. I'm happy to do that. Happy to say that over a million people a month have their health taken to a higher level from sharing these amazing products. If you wanna try some, message me or whoever referred this video to you. On Tuesdays, I have an Ask the Doctor. There's the meeting ID and password. And as always, I'm Dr. Bob Rakowski. Absolutely knowing that we can all be happy healthy and successful.